Hey guys, it's All Extra 60, and today I have a review of Mega Man 24, also known as World Collide Part 1. Uh, before I start this review and all that, uh, you may be wondering, hey, this is kind of camera looks a little bit different. This is kind of a weird view, and why are you super late? And I got both of those answers. I also uh, answers both of those questions. First, I got my comic on Wednesday. I decided to hold off the review to Thursday. I made it on Thursday, and it br and the review deleted itself. I'm like, okay. I tried on Friday, it deletes itself again. After a few tests, I find out my camera broke. It won't save any videos. So now, it's Sunday. Saturday, I was super busy, so this is Sunday, and guess what happened? I'm finally making my review, and I'm using my brother's awesome, awesome, cool camera. Yeah, it's pretty expensive, whatever, but it's still pretty awesome. And this is temporary. I'm so this might be a few reviews. This is the camera I'll be using for a few reviews. Uh, be warned, it does have a little bit of a, um, a zooming issue. It can either go super far in or super far back. I, it's kind of hard to get it adjusted the perfect. So my, these reviews might be a little bit too, bl might be a little blurry, but yeah, do judge it yourself. But yeah, let's start the review. The issue, the issue's cover looks nice. We got Mega Man, Sonic, Sonic's friends and enemies, and so Mega Man's friends and enemies. I like how they have comparisons of each character. They have um, Dr. Wily and Dr. Eggman, of course. We have, we have Knuckles and Proto Man, of course again, of course. Just kidding. And then we have Tails and Dr. Light, which is another character, another character, both inventors. But then there's something. There's Rush. There's Rush right here, and then there's Espio. What? How does that make any sense? Really? You don't see Sonic riding on Espio? Come on, giddy up, doggy! I'm not a dog, I'm a ninja. Who cares? Giddy up, doggy! I cannot imagine Sonic riding Espio like that. Be funny. Okay. Weird. Okay, so yeah, it's okay. And it says all starts here. It all starts here. Yeah, it does all start here. And it all ends August. I'm. Cal my days are numbered for this issue, for this crossover. I do wish it would end soon, but who knows. So, let's start the issue. Previously on... Okay. Hopefully that'll be good. It might be a little bit blurry for you guys. Let's if I can try to get a little bit. Ugh. See what... See, there's a little perfect spot right here. But it always gets caught up. You would all can stop right there. If you can't see it, then I'm sorry. It's just my I'm just still getting used to this new camera thingy. So yeah, previously in Sonic and Sonic Universe, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Universe, and Mega Man. You might know what Sonic's story is, but you don't know, probably know, not know who Mega Man's story is. Basically what happens is Dr. Light had a um dream of um had a dream of making a utopian future with humans and robots um coexisting with each other. What happens is, is Dr. Wily decides that he Decides that he decides he doesn't have enough of it and takes control of those robot masters that he created for work and basically pr reprograms them. Mega Man was originally a robot, um, a robot, one of um, Doctor Light's robot children. Interesting. Um, he re he um upgrades him to become become Mega Man and retrieve those robot masters. Yeah, I've read most some of the issues. I've read about two or three of the arcs in there, so I know quite uh, somewhat about Mega Man. And then we got who's who, yeah, you know who these are, Mega Man and Dr. Light, and then we got Sonic and Dr. Eggman. So, let's start. Green Hill Zone, Sonic's World. Now, is that all you got, Blue Boy? Not on your life, pincushion. When Worlds Collide, Part 1, Kindred Spirits. This thing would give Quick Man a run for his money. Mega Man's a fighting robot. Oh, that's a very subtle way to start an issue. Which is... Mega Man shooting Sonic. That's a very subtle way to start an issue. That's like if that's like if they started the endangered species arc with removing all the echidnas. Kid, oh wait, they did. <laughs> no, just kidding. Not bad. Seem better, but not bad. But I'm still faster. Ah! This guy can take a hit. Are you receiving this, Masters? Wait, who? Wait, who? Uh, I'll explain later. Every glory second, Tails Man! Wait, Tails Man? You didn't! 
Oh, no. Oh, again, I'll explain later. And we're loving it! That's it, Hedgehog. Taught him to scrap. Go, Mega Man! Go and exterminate the robot! Yeah, my voice went to Dr. Wily to Dr. Eggman in one sentence. I don't know if there's a really bad error or a, f or a, f or a funny typo or something like that. Well, actually, not typo, more of like a funny error. Who knows? That's how much I can do. Congratulations, Doctor, on a plan coming together so well, Doctor. Wait, what? Oh, sorry. Another typo by me. It's all falling into place better than I ever dreamed, Doctor. Quite so. Here's to our glorious panel station. Here, here. Here's to our minions mission. Almost complete. Or nearly complete. Here, here. Here's to the best partnership we never saw coming. And to the mutual destructions of our nemesis. Cheers. Clink. Kind of reminds me of how, how um, like, the Genesis saga bit. Um, Genesis Saga was, um, began. Eggman was, like, drinking some kind of, like, juice or some kind of thing in the wine. In a class club cup, kind of like that. <laughs> was that a homage or something? Oh, well. Next page. Dr. Wily's secret base, Mega Man's World, weeks ago. Don't talk to back to me, Ramoon! I said I wanted a bot with rice cooker function, so make it happen! Hey, what? Rice cooker function? Really, who would want rice cooker function in a bot? You can ask for anything in a robot, and you ask for rice cooker function. Really, I eat rice almost every day, and I, I get sick of rice a lot, but... Rice cooker function. I'm not gonna, I'm not nitpicking on anything. This is, this is actually kind of funny. Oh, oh well. Dr. Wiley, I found something in the jungle while on patrol. Sweet mother of Edison, look at that highs of that sapphire. Also, sorry about um the background noise, my... My family is cleaning up the house right at this moment. <laughs> Sorry. Such power allows me to process it for you. Forget it. Work on that rice cooker bot, and then we'll talk. Er, a spectacle analysis. Analysis says it's a braille, sir. Fine. It's an aquamarine. Marine. Uh, whatever. I'm no geologist. Ram Moon says it's just some kind of power. Maybe we can find what such energy, perhaps this, maybe, maybe this is an element, or perhaps a, yeah, ouch! Sorry about that. Meanwhile, Dr. Eggman's, Dr. Eggman's base of operations, Dr. Uh, not Dr. Sonic's world. Or about Q-Mart, send out a, a general holographic signal to my forces throughout the Empire. Coming right up, boss. Am I on? And action! You are incompetent! In a race, I gave you two objectives. Two simple objectives. And you fill both! One, take conquer the, each region of the planet so I can have complete control. And two, find the missing blasted chaos! Emerald? Who are you and how dare you pirate my signals? I'm the one who gets the pirate signals around here. And you're also the only one who has an awesome pirate theme song. <clears throat> Nothing. Who am I? I am Dr. Albert Wiley, the greatest robotics genius on Earth. Wait, that's more of a Dr. Eggman voice. Okay, that's it. I'm going to speak with generic voices now. <laughs> Sorry. Bah, I'm the greatest robotics, robotics genius on Earth. Earth. Oh, no. you can No, you can't be kidding. Oh, no, no, no. There's been some rumors going around that that Archie's gonna try to get rid of the Mobius name now. First they got rid first they got rid of um first they got rid of uh first they got rid of the Kinnas. Now they're getting rid of the Mobius name. What's next? Get rid of Sally Acorn and the Sad AM cast? I don't want that. There'll be a lot of fanboys who get angry at Archie. Not pointing any fingers though. Bah, I'm the greatest robotics genius on Mobius. Yeah, yeah, Mo Earth, you know. You say, you say, what is year is it there, Doctor? 2000XX, why? Interesting. Please excuse me for my earlier outburst, Doctor. My name is Dr. Robot uh, Eggman, and I'm the greatest robotics genius on my world. Your world? You don't look like an alien to... 
Look like a space alien to me. Now I picture one anyway. Uh, I think that's a homage to I think Mega Man 2's final boss or Wily turns into an alien. Yeah, that was like one of the weirdest bo final bosses I've ever seen. Oh, like, if there's any Mega Man fans in this comment section, please correct me if I said the wrong game or whatever. I'm not too making of a Mega Man fan. <laughs> Next page. Ha ha ha! No, this is your first time dealing with alternate dimension realities, isn't it? Let me explain. There are infinite variations of, of our world. Some are, some worlds are are very similar, while other ones are vastly different. Entire universes existing separate from one another. So are from parallel universes? Fascinating! I don't suppose you know anything about um, bringing order to the... Bringing an order and a way of better thinking to your... With your machines, Doctor. Oh, I do! And I don't suppose you have some... You'll have some young upstart who gets in your way and ruining everything, do you, Doctor? You can't begin to imagine. Or you can. Perhaps you can. Quite. We need to meet. And I have an, uh, I have an, I have an idea as to how. Later, somewhere entirely else. Where? Entirely. Doctor Wiley, I presume. It's a pleasure. Me it's a pleasure, Doctor Eggman. Theor your theories were brilliant. Imagining and crafting an entire engine through the use of a Chaos Emerald. What do they call it? A zone? Indeed. You manipulated the Chaos Emerald expertly. Oh, and sure you haven't done this before. Ah ha ha. Oh, stop. And this certainly is to set foot in this new Skull Secret Zone. Ha <laughs> ha. Indeed. Except it's the Egg Pocket Zone. No, oh, Skull Secret, Egg Pocket, Skull Secret, Egg Pocket, Skull Secret, Egg Pocket, Skull Egg, uh, Skull Egg Zone. The beauty of this zone is just, is hidden away from anyone's praying eyes. And it defends, and it, and that, and that, yep, it is to that though. It bends the rules of reality. Mere, mere hours here is only seconds in our world. By combining the resources of our empires, we be able to power, and the power of your empire and my power, my Ramoon, we'll be able to create the ultimate weapon without fear of limitation or interference. I've built a few battle stations in my day, so I can provide the primary design, says Dr. Eggman. Might have to keep doing that because their voice sounds the same. <laughs> and I have a flair for internal and for internal um for internal finances. So I'll handle the details. Nothing can surpass our combined genius or our, our tireless robot forces. Okay, why are they eating rice? Okay, another th question. Is this rice think some kind of some kind of in joke with the Me Mega Man comics or the Mega Man games? Because really, from what I've seen from Mega Man games and TV shows, I don't think people actually eat that much stuff. But really, it's kind of weird. Oh well, next next issue. I mean next. Uh, sorry, next page. And so. At long last, it is me to Christian the Darth Egg 3. Care to do the honors, Doctor? No, 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 you may, Christian the Wily Flying Fortress, Doctor. Wily Egg! Wily Egg! I Christian the Wily Egg! Later, aboard the Wily Egg, and now to taste two of our plan. A brilliant plan. Our incredibly brilliant plan. This device, powered by the chaos and roll low, is to change the very thought and beauty of rewritten of the course. Based on alt on both programs we were well, using recipe programs. Yes, yes, we gone through this before. We can make a world we can make a world of our own and probably new worlds. But I have a question though. Will Doc will Sonic and Mega Man and any of other so called heroes remember us? Or are we bent reality? That's the beauty of it. They'll remember exactly what we want them to. They'll, 
To them, er, the glorious skull the egg zone in the wor world have simply always been rerun. Obviously, we can't erase living beings are the are the spirits, but we can we can rearrange them and space our benefits. Now, if you would kindly please press the cosmic reset button, after our realities will be re reached and primed for our conquest. Arg! Did it work? <gasps> you what that means? Done. 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 Eggman the pirate. Arr, 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 arr. All the Street 60 may, may, wants to speak a little. The president of the non awesome club may wants to speak. I have an announcement. The Arg Eggman the pirate joke is over. It's one of the worst jokes and one of the worst uh, in jokes I've ever made. For now on, I this joke is never gonna be in any one of my comics again. No funny, no how best experience. It's never gonna be in one again. Now continue with the comic. I think it did. Yes, yes, I remember everything now. It's changed so much. Past, present, and even the future. <laughs> now to abuse the fussy space and time of the zone to resurrect my robot masters. All of them. Of course, but I have I have an even better idea. Tails' house. So, Sonic's new world, moments after the cosmic reset button, was pushed. And I'll need some things to eat, and I could pack my compass in case my old tiles for our Sonic's heroic sidekick. Oh shoot, Sonic's already here! I'm almost done packing for the... Hey kid, doctors need you for something. Bass, Dr. Wily's Dark Enforcer. Metal Sonic, Dr. Eggman's Dudley Enforcer. Psh! Oh, where am I? Hmm, and you say he, you can, he can fly with those tails? Indubitably. Fascinating. Dr. Eggman! Hello, Tails! Congratulations! You're going to be part of an experiment. Experiment? What kind of experiment? We're having a hard time sending someone in from one world to another. Without a native specimen, the company. That's why we Bass needed to come with Metal Sonic to come to your world. So we came up with an idea! A brilliant idea of combining the robotics of of Albert's world and the robotization process of my world. A synergy of robotic science. No, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh, children, utterly hopeless. The short version is, we're turning into a robot master, do our bidding. Yeah, clang. Ah, congratulations, Doctor, our first roboticized master. It w yeah, it worked! A completely mechanical to transform organic to mechanical transformation! Oh no, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, first Sally and now Tails. Guys, I know it's not gonna last. I know it's gonna be only for the crossover, but still! Really? This is really needed. Yeah. Uh, next one. Like, seriously, though, before I go to the next page, really, does this, was this really needed? Was Tails, man, really needed for this? <sighs> really. What's next? Are you going to roll size Amy, Knuckles, and Shadow in no particular order? Ahem. Ahem. This is perfect. Terrence man can travel freely between both of our worlds and find all the other chaos that was scattered by the Genesis wave. Tails, man. Ha! Doesn't seem to have much of a personality, though. All part of the process. Al, you get less sass from your minions that way, I suppose. Not really one of mine, anyway. You know, if I was, if Sonic has more friends, we could have a whole army of roboticized masters. It'd make recovering the chaos emeralds much easier. You read my mind. L let's go. Let's go. And what's better is we'll, we'll have. It'll give Sonic's, it'll make Sonic's head spin, and it'll give us more troops to fight Mega Man. Bass Metal Sonic, get more s targets for capture. All right, Tails Man, time to put you to work. 
Mega, Mega City, Mega Man's World, Post Genesis Wave, Proto Man, Heroic Brother of Mega Man, also known as my favorite Mega Man character. Aye! Wee wee! Hey guys, look! Wee wee! <laughs> oh, bad joke. All lo units respond to attack. The first national bank. For first responders are down. They are ha they are hard. They are highly dangerous. I help me. Wait, wait. Oh, just help. Help. That was a really bad citizen voice. Wait. So he said, "Look like Daisy." It looks like Daisy from Super Mario Brothers. It actually, kind of reminds me of it. <laughs> Is this a hint that I'm making a Mario comic? Who knows? Crunch. Huh? Okay, enough sound effects. What the hell is the music noise? Oh no. You're a pretty brass and bank robbers. I'll give you that. And you're powerful by the looks too. Wait, you're not human in high powered suits or gear. You're not even regular robots. We are the robotic, roboticized masters, and we are here for your destruction. Tails man, M Knuckles man, Rose woman, Shadow man. What? You gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! They're doing this now? Really roboticizing? Oh, sorry about that. Roboticizing all the characters? Most of the characters on these friends, that's, a, that's, a, that's the stupidest idea ever. This is how it should have gone. It should have been like a part four, a part five would happen. Sonic and Tails, basically like Mega Man, ugh, I don't need you. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna go attack Eggman myself. They go to a, Tails and Sonic on a solo mission. Sonic, Tails gets captured, and then that's how he gets roboticized. That would have been better than this. It's just anticlimactic, climatic, it, it's, Climb, climb, oh, sorry. It is really not even that good of a story. Is this story? This I. While this is only the first issue, and those are only a few nitpicks. It's still a really uh, stupid idea in the first place. Oh well. Uh, overall, if you're a Mega Man fan, I would say you might want to pick this out just for, just for I don't know, because it's part of your subscription. That are also all of it. But if you're not, if you're just a Sonic fan, you might want to just pick this up to start it. Because if you're like me and you just did, didn't get the uh, the subscription to Mega Man, then yeah, good for you. Because I, because I know it's hard, but still, like supporting my book shops. Well, before I leave, want today's question of the day of the video is this: What is your favorite Mega Man character? Mine personally is Lan from the Mega Man Battle Network games. I always liked the character, and I think it was kind of cool uh, of a concept how Mega Man was a pet, kind of like a robot kind of person, kind of like, kind of like a few characters I know, kind of like how he plugged in. I would like to see my Mega Man go inside my Xbox and go hack at some games for me. Not kidding, no. But still, yeah. And it's been all Chris Sixty. Rate, comment, subscribe, and and I'll be seeing you in Sonic Universe Fifty One.